it's Alex here, and I'm here to show you just a, a little tutorial. And it has to do with these three things right here. So basically what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to install single player commands, Optifine, and too many items without using Forge. Now I'm pretty sure this will work with later versions, but since I'm doing single player commands, the most recent version is 1.6.2, so that's what I'm doing. You'll find a link to all of these down in the description, so yeah, I'm just kind of going to skip ahead to pretending I've already downloaded everything. So the very first thing you need to do is go to your uh, .minecraft folder, which you can find in your roaming. If you know how to find your roaming folder and you're on Windows, press the Windows button and R to bring up a run command, or you can search run and find the same thing. And then what you got to do is type in percent, app data or data, whichever you prefer, percent, and then click OK, .minecraft. And there you have it. So this is basically Minecraft down here. Ignore everything up at the front. That's if you use Forge and Shaders, which is what I do for some other things. What you're going to need to do is then come here to versions. You'll notice I have a 1.6.2 folder and a bunch of other folders. What you need to have is make sure you have 1.6.2. If you do not have 1.6.2, just load up Minecraft. It might take a second just because I'm recording. It usually doesn't take very long though. Just load it up. Yeah, I'm also, uh, yeah, whatever. I don't know what I was going to say. You're going to click Edit Profile, come here to your latest version, and then you're going to scroll down until you find right here 1.6.2. You're then going to click it and click Save Profile. You are then going to play normal Minecraft. This is without any of these things installed. I don't know what that loud whistle was. Wow, that was weird. I've never heard that before. Alrighty, so once it loads up, you have just a plain old normal Minecraft. There's nothing installed yet, but it did install 1.6.2 to your versions, versions folder. However, since I already have that, I was just showing you how to get it. Now what you're going to do is you're going to have to create a copy of the 1.6.2 folder. You're going to paste it and then you're going to rename it anything you like I'm going to just for uh, keep it simple it's going to use SPC single player commands um, and then this is optional as well I prefer just to highlight it and then control C it that way you can do later stages easier but like I said you can rename this folder anything I use SPC for single player commands but if you're just using it for like any other form of mod you can just name it mods and that'll work as well so now what you gotta do is rename both of these. That's why I just use Control V and Control V. There you go. Now you have 1.6.2 SPC, an executable jar file, and a 1.6.2 .json file. Then you're gonna open the .json file, and right up here, you're just gonna type in SPC exactly as you typed it in down there. I typed it in all caps, so I used all caps. And then you're just gonna save it and close. So now you're almost done. But now what you need to do is this is where you need to have either 7-Zip or WinRAR. I prefer 7-Zip just because I've had bad experiences with WinRAR. If you use WinRAR, that is okay. Basically, though, you just need anything that allows you to search through archives, okay? So now what you're going to do is um, you have to extract them all so they're all, except for Optifine. You're just going to, I'm just extracting them so that they're unzipped and then you no longer need that version. Same thing here extract files and okay so now we have two single player commands and too many items and then we have optifine now what you need to do is come back up here to the executable jar file right click it with either 7-zip or winrar and then open the archive this is what you get when you open the archive I know at first well at least it was for me it's a little bit of a intimidation to know what you gotta do it's very simple come to your meta inf and get rid of anything that's not manifest.mf so Mojang CS, both of them, get rid of them. Make sure you keep manifest.mf. If you don't, you have to start everything over again, including, well, actually, you don't have to re-download it. So now what you're going to want to do is here you just open these up. So what you need to do is take out world edit. This is super important. World edit cannot be inside of here. And then the readme and terms, they just kind of show you what you can do. There's your other ways of learning how to do that. So now what you're going to do is also open up 7-Zip, and then this is very simple. Highlight everything and drag it over. You'll get a little co confirmation thing. It says, are you sure you want to copy it files to archive? Yes. Just click yes. Nothing bad happens by clicking yes. I swear. I do this all the time. 
Now you're going to take too many items. You're done with that now, but you still, this is very important. You have to have the world edit for this to work. Now you're just going to come to here, and you see there's no executable jar files. You're just going to copy it, copy all of it into here, and then click yes. So now you have too many items and world edit, not world edit, installed single player commands. So let's see, now you don't need that. Now for Optifine, you're doing the same thing that you use for this. You're just going to open the archive. Um, then you got to maximize it so you can see it all. I'm just going to copy it over here. You then have to have every single thing copied and moved over, or else it will not work and it will crash your Minecraft. Yeah, I did the same thing. Now, unfortunately, since um, not, not, I wanted to use not enough items, but since not enough items does not have it works in an executable jar file, and you need um, code chicken core, it does not work very well because code 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 chicken core does not work with this. Alrighty, so now you're done with this. Unless you're installing more mods, then you just do the exact same thing. Now what you're going to do is go back to your dot .minecraft. You're done with that as well. So I already made one earlier, but you need to make sure you have a bin folder. So I'm just going to delete it and show you how to get one if you do not. Just click New, Folder, and then name it Bin with no capitalization. And there you have it. You now have a bin folder. So now what you're going to want to do is just move both of these over into the bin folder. I personally do not know if Optifine needs to be in the bin folder. I've just always found out that it works better for me if I do have it in the bin folder. And then what you're going to do is just load up Minecraft. Look, then once again, nothing is happening right now because it's still just a normal vanilla Minecraft because it's not trying to load up 1.6.2 yet. This has single player commands. When you click, then you're going to click edit profile and latest version. Usually right below release 1.6.2 you'll find release 1.6.2 SPC or whatever you named it. You then are going to click that, come down here and save profile. One more thing I suggest. If you have enough gigabytes of RAM, which you can do by finding a um, using a run command that helps you find your gigabytes of RAM or you can just go to your computer. So with single player commands in World Edit, basically you can add thousands of blocks in an instant. If you only have the one one gig set to this, it won't work. I use three gigs. I have four gigabytes of RAM. I'm saving one for, so my computer can still do other things. I'm now going to save the profile. Um, don't worry about any of the other things, just the minus XMX 3G if I have three, you most likely will have one. You can change that to one, two, three, three point five, five, however many you have. You can change it as many as you want within the number of RAM you have. If you put too much over there, it won't even run. So now just save profile. Once again, make sure it's set to SPC and then just click play. So now you are done with everything over here. Basically, you're done with all these, and you're done with that. The only reason I am keeping them is because in case something goes wrong, or if I mess up the recording and I have to do it again. So, I've already loaded this up earlier. So now what you're just going to do is to make this work, I'm just going to call it World Edit. You are now going to want to have, Cheats on is required, but nothing else is. And I'm just going to create a new world. And my phone is going off, uh, I'll call you later. Alrighty, hopefully you didn't hear that. I think I might even have it on mute. I just saw it go off. So this, um, it might take up a second just to load up, especially once it actually starts. But you just kind of got to wait a minute. You'll notice, look in the bottom left-hand corner in a second. It'll say something about SPC. So let's just wait for it. Or maybe I missed it. No. There it is. Single player commands 4.9 dash HTTP colon slash slash bit dot LY slash SPC mod. That lets you know it worked. If you see that and then you see something else that says like world edit not found or whatever, that means it's not installed correctly. And now you also notice Optifine is installed because when I clicked control or whatever your zoom button is, I also were able to zoom in. And then if I open up my inventory, boom, I also have too many items. Um, too many items, just a quick little overview. It allows you to give yourself as many items from anything you want. Really good if you're just playing to play. You can go from survival to creative mode, change the difficulty, heal yourself, change the time, uh, enchant items. Really good for like mod reviews and stuff because then you can just say create stuff. I use this personally when I, a lot of times. 
not really in survival because you're always stuck like this. Alrighty, so now you've seen that it all works. And I don't know exactly how long this video has been going on, but I would kind of like to give you a brief overview to show you that it actually worked. So if I type in slash fly, flying is now permitted. That is a thing from single player commands, as is slash no clip. No clip makes it so you can fly through blocks and not have to worry. You're basically legitimately invisible because now you can just go through items. And as soon as you stop flying, you'll notice no clip is disabled. So you can't just like fall through the world. And you'll notice I cannot just fly through here. Um, also, when you have fly enabled, you do not take fall damage. I'm just going to turn that off. Alrighty. So now what you're going to do is this is world edit slash slash wand. That will give you just a wooden axe. I'm actually going to turn the fly back on. And then here's, this is world edit in your hand. World edit is completely based, revolved around this. You can basically select an area, select another area, and we'll select right there, slash slash set, digimond, diamond, or, oh wait, sorry, you have to put them together, I forgot, diamond or, boom, and now there's diamond or. And you can even do a stuff that's not technically supposed to be able to be placed. Um, like let me just think. Like you can normally not place seeds on. You can usually not plant seeds on top of water, but with World Edit you can. So like, let me just kind of show you. I'll go from here to here. Slash slash set seeds. Is it just seed? I don't really know what all the blocks are called. Maybe it's like crops, but you can do it. Believe me. There. Of course, and of course it didn't work. But you can normally not plant them on top of sand anyway. So you can see that it kind of worked. Um, yes, yeah, so that's about all that you have to do to know how to install just about any mod you want. Like I said, though, almost every mod, not every mod, you have to have, it either has to A, be available in a um, compressed zip file, or it has to be um, like mods that don't require other mods to work. It's like, you know, too many items run solely off too many items. Um, so does Optifine, and so does, well, single player commands is a little differently, because you have to have the bin folder. But yeah, that's a, that's about it. Um, I plan on doing a lot more tutorials. If you have any mods you'd like to see a tutorial on, or just like mod reviews, I suppose, I'll do any mod. Um, yeah, also tutorials, and that's about it. I'll also to be doing, later on, I'll be doing some word edit stuff. Showing you some different commands you can do with world edit, not single player commands. That's a little different because there's not a whole lot of thing in single player commands. But that will be something coming up later. Um, yeah, I'm just going to show you one more thing. You can do slash butcher. Say you want to do it in a 500 mile radius. Every single mob, um, evil mob, within a, basically a 500 by 500 sphere just got killed. So you saw those creepers and skelly butts. Now they're gone. So I'm also just doing this as I'm talking. I'm going to make an H sphere of water with a radius of five and ten. Yeah, I now have floating a floating ball of water in the sky that nothing can break because it's made out of water. You literally have to place a block for it to not work. I don't think you can do this with sand. We can try it really quick. Um, just because I am curious now that I've said I don't think you can do it with sand. Oh, wait, no, it has to, it has to be H-sphere, but sand instead of water. So this is the kind of stuff I'll be doing in my, uh... Oh, I spelled that wrong. Anyway, this is the kind of things I'll be doing. Yeah, see? The sand just kind of falls. It makes a really cool pattern, though. I mean, look at that. Anyway, like I said, that'll be the kind of stuff I do in my world edit thing, so I'm not going to do any more of it. If you would like to see any more... Just make sure to leave a like. You don't have to leave a like, actually. If I can just get 10 views on any of my episodes, I will, of course, do another episode the very next day. And if I can get 20, I will do another video the same day, over whatever. But please do leave a comment just so I know what you want to see. Alrighty. Um, that's where I'm going to end it off. I'm going to end the video off here. And yeah. So, alrighty, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.